The last major battle on the Pacific Front was the Battle of Okinawa. This occurred in June of 1945. Okinawa is an island 340 miles south of Japan, which the Allies wanted to control because, obviously, again, this would enable a mainland invasion of the country. Okinawa, interestingly, had an indigenous population of non-Japanese people living on the island who spoke the language of Okinawa. In fact, some of the Japanese tried to hide and blend in with the natives living there. Americans learned to recognize the Japanese by asking a native Okinawan to ask them a question, and if the person couldn't understand them, then the Americans knew that they were actually Japanese in hiding, and then they were taken captive as a prisoner of war. It was a terrible battle for those natives living there, especially because up to 25% of the native Okinawa population died, and there's a lot of misinformation from the Japanese and from the Americans that the native Okinawas didn't know who was good and who was bad necessarily, and they were actually encouraged by the Japanese officials to commit suicide rather than be taken captive by the Americans, and they thought the Americans were going to treat them very terribly, although that wasn't the case. So we don't know the exact number, but somewhere between 42,000 and 150,000 were caught up in the battle. This was the largest amphibious invasion of the Pacific Campaign, the largest of the entire war being that of Operation Overlord in Normandy. But this involved more gunships, supplies, and bombs than any other Pacific battle, which is important to note because the Allies had legitimate concerns about the continued cost of supplying the war. It was the bloodiest war of the Pacific. Kamikaze pilots were once again used in the battle. In the entire Second World War, there were over 4,000 Kamikaze pilots used, although only about 18% actually hit their targets which is also a sad statistic in and of itself. The Kamikaze were able to sink 34 Allied ships during this battle, and 763 aircraft were also destroyed. 12,000 U.S. soldiers died, another 36,000 were wounded, and the Japanese losses were even more severe, with over 107,000 people killed. Thousands more were captured, and the Japanese also lost 7,800 aircraft and 16 ships. Though so this is extremely detrimental to the Japanese, the Allies were victorious, and this is one step closer to actually capturing the island of Japan.